Well, good afternoon, and thank you for being here today to um, uh, update you on the athletics leadership here at the University of Nebraska. As you know, I was pleased to announce earlier this morning uh, the appointment of Dave Remington as the interim athletic director for the University of Nebraska at Lincoln. Uh, we're very, very pleased, obviously, uh, that number 50 has been willing to come back and to help us in this interim time of leadership of the department. Um, the appointment is for an up to 60 day uh, appointment as the interim athletic director for our program. Uh, I'll, I'll give you some details um, about the search and where we are in the search uh, as well today. But first I want to talk about this appointment. When we were going through the decision last week to make a change in our athletics leadership, the very first person I thought of as a potential leader in an interim capacity of the department was Dave Remington. It was my idea. Uh, it was a th the first thought that I had because not only of his accolades as a great Husker, and as you, you know those as well as I do, but because he also was an academic All-American and he represents our program so well. And not only an academic All-American, all, Hall of Fame academic All-American in 2004, as you know. I reached out to Dave uh, early in this process to query whether he would have interest in helping us during the, what we hope will be a short interim period and he was receptive and willing to think about that with us to come and help provide leadership in the interim period uh, for the department. I could have selected any one of a very strong team of the senior leaders that we have in Husker Athletics. And as I've shared with that team earlier today, uh, that would have been the easiest thing to do because we are very blessed here with senior leaders in our program that are amongst the best in the country. I felt though that would be a missed opportunity to bring in an outside person during this time to also work with us and provide some outside input for us as we decided to move forward. Now I won't speak to Dave's history, it's all very public, except that he is a graduate of our institution in business so he's one of our 200,000 living alumni around the world. He has an advanced degree in international business. And as you're probably aware, has been very successful as the president of the Boomer Esiason Foundation in New York now since 1995. In that capacity, beginning with them in 1993, when the foundation was first being formed to do its great work around cystic fibrosis. He is a proven leader in that capacity. He is a proven leader in fiscal management, a proven leader in transparency, a proven leader in a charity that's amongst the top ranked charities in the field. And that certainly was important to us in thinking about this interim appointment. Now I'll let Dave talk to you here in a moment, but before I do that, I want to give you an update on the search for the permanent athletic director. We have been working since middle of last week on framing the search. I'm very pleased that that search is now active and that we are in the market uh, looking for our next permanent athletic director. We will be working with a highly recognized search firm in the field uh, that is being finalized as we speak today with that firm. Uh, I want to give you a little bit of the construct of the framework of the search. Uh, there will be a search committee who will work with me that represents the interests of Husker Athletics and of the institution. So it will include university leadership. It will include representation of former athletes. It will include representation of athletic staff and leadership uh, amongst that group. We also will have an advisory group that will provide input to that search committee early in the process around the criteria that we need in looking for our next athletic director. Again, demographically representing 
the interests of Husker Athletics and the University of Nebraska. As you are well aware, we need to find the absolute best leader for our program moving forward. We're committed to that. So as we conduct the search, it will be done in a very confidential way, as you would expect. Uh, and we would, we would expect and uh, hope that you'd give us the space to do that uh, as we search for that next leader. So I'll be giving you information at the appropriate time around any updates uh, in the search as it progresses. We will be aggressive in the search, both in terms of getting the right leader uh, and the, the resources required for that, as well as in time. We expect this to be a short search where we hope to do that as quickly as possible, but we will take as long as it takes to find the right leader uh, in place. So I'm now going to turn and introduce to you our Interim Athletic Director, Mr. Dave Remington. Dave. Thank you, Chancellor Green. Uh, you know, I'd like, I got a couple people I want to thank. I don't know if Coach Osborne's here, but about 38 years ago, he believed in me enough to give me a scholarship and allowed me to excel in the football field, excel at the University of Nebraska, and I'll never be able to repay that debt. I have a good friend, Boomer Esiason, who uh, is a guy that 24 years ago, he called, he called me up and asked me, if I, if I would help him raise money for cystic fibrosis because his son was diagnosed. Um, 24 years later, in about $140 million that we've raised, um, it, I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate him letting me come here for, for a sh very short time and try to help out the university. I love this place. I'll do anything I can to help. And I talked to the coaches today, and I'm there for them. Um, not here to fire anybody. Not here to, just here to calm things down. We've got a great university here, and I'm going to do the best I can to help, help whatever, whatever I can to make it better. So that's my comment. Now we'll, we'll take a few uh, questions today and uh, answer things that you might have on your mind. I will tell you, we've got a lot to do to get Dave uh, going. Uh, you know, he literally just got here, and uh, we want to get him going, but you know, are there questions that we can answer for you? Yes. Yeah, yeah Dave, I uh, just want to make sure we have it right. Are you a permanent candidate for the job? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Do you want any job in the athletic department in the future? Well, you know, two years from now, I'm going to retire from the Boomer Esiason Foundation when I turn 60, come back here in Nebraska. It would be great to be able to come back. Ronnie, uh, when will you be naming the search firm if you're finalizing stuff today? Uh, we expect that to happen today. Hey, Dave, um, just how closely have you been uh, keeping tabs on your alma mater? Well, I do a lot of, I do a lot of traveling, so I've, I've missed quite a few games. Uh, because I was, I was listening to him on the radio. It's kind of like being back in the Lyle Brumser days, you know, listening to him on the radio. Uh, so I, I do as much as I can. Uh, I watched uh, last week pretty, pretty good, but most of the time, I'm, I, I watch football on TV. I don't usually go to games. So. Question for Dave. In, in what ways do you envision contributing here? I mean, what, what do you want to get done? Is there anything you want to get done? Well, you know, the walk-on program has been something that's really important to me. Uh, the relationship with former players is something that's really important to me. And if I can do something to improve those two conditions here, I think I'll, I would be pretty satisfied in the short time I'm going to be here. Um, I'm hoping to have some influence in the selection. Uh, small, probably, but some influence. Uh, if I can accomplish two of those three things, I think I'll be pretty happy for it, at least. Do you have any specific traits in mind for that, for the full-time AD? No, I, I haven't even thought about it. To be truth, I, I you know, two days ago I was 
working in, in Long Island, and I got a phone call from Ronnie. I haven't had time to think about anything but getting the next step, and the next step, you know, from getting packed to getting to Lincoln to coming here. I haven't, I, you know, I don't even have a place to stay yet, so I don't. <laughs> to, I to, to put that in context, <laughs> you know, to, uh, maybe for a little lighter moment here, I contacted Dave Thursday morning last week, and uh, it was a cold call. We had not talked. Um, he knew I was the chancellor because I'd reached out to him the night before by, you know, to try to get in touch with him. And um, we arranged an opportunity for us to meet this weekend. Um, and uh, we were set to meet at 8.30 in the morning. And uh, I texted Dave at 7.30 and I said, you know, uh, it's kind of casual here, you know, we're not, this isn't an interview kind of thing. He said, um, well, uh, he came in and he had a jacket on, he was dressed nicely, and he said, um, I got your text, I'd already been here 15 minutes because I was so excited about what we're going to talk about. So, you know, it's, it's hey, a... Hey, I'm a Nebraska kid, I'm going to show up yeah. early all the time, you know, especially yeah. the lineman Nebraska kid. You know, it's, it, I think it goes without saying, I ch should have said this earlier, you know, for someone to pull up from what he's doing like Dave is doing here tells you how important he sees this opportunity being to help us. Um, and, you know, he has four young children at home, or four children uh, at home uh, in New York with his wife, Lisa. And so they're, they're really offering an opportunity to help us here at Nebraska. And we couldn't be more thankful for that. I'm excited about Dave being here and about you know, consulting with us uh, through this, you know, short interim period. So. Hey Dave, um, before coming back for this, when was the last time you were on campus and what was the nature of that visit? Well, I was getting my diplo diploma, <laughs> 1982, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've been to a few games, I don't, you know, and I'm, I'm not one to walk around campus and explore. I've seen it before when I had to go to classes, so it, uh, I see a lot of different changes and it, it's, uh, the facilities here are top notch. They've always been great. Uh, but now they're kind of over the top great. I mean, they're, they're, this is like the Taj Mahal of, of college football. Uh, last year I came to a football game, I think. Yeah, I think I did. So. Question for Dave. Did you discuss uh, this with Tom Osborne before you took the position? Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I, I didn't. Hey, Dave? Any chance Friday night you'll be the interim center for the team at Illinois? <laughs> that would not be a pretty sight. <laughs> well, we thank you for being here. We're excited about Dave taking on the interim role. And as I said earlier, as we have information to share with you in moving forward with the search, um, we'll be doing that. Thank you very much. Dave, we're going to go this way.